Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shani, if you guys didn't know, and today I'm going to be trying out some new Maybelline products. I picked up the new foundation, the Superstay Full Coverage Foundation, which I've had for a minute now. Initially, I didn't like this foundation, but I'm going to try it out again in this video mixed with another foundation because this is not my color. And I picked up the new Instant Age Rewind. Well, it's not new, but I've never been able to try it because they never made my shade. So now they have extended the shades. I think they came out with five new shades and I picked up Hazelnut and I already like kind of squeezed it out because I wanted to see the color of it. So I squeezed it out last night and I was like, ooh, that's gonna work. So I'm gonna be wearing Hazelnut and I picked up the color Caramel, but this is entirely too light for me. The one that I really wanted with Hazelnut is tan, but they didn't have that one in stock. So... I just picked up this one and when I got home I was like, shorty, that's going to be too light. So I'm just going to take this back and hopefully they have tan available when I take this back. So if you guys are interested in my thoughts on the new Maybelline products, please stay tuned and keep watching. But before we get into this makeup look, make sure you guys are subscribed, turn on your bell notifications so you guys get a notification when I upload a new video. Okay, so I kind of have somewhere to go so I'm going to do a simple eye makeup and then move on to what you guys are here for okay okay so let me go ahead and finish priming my eyelids with the ellie girl pro concealer in chestnut now i'm taking my real technique i never remember the name of these brushes this is the Deluxe Concealer Brush from Real Technique. And I'm just blending out that concealer. And I just make sure it looks really, really smooth. And then I'm going to go in and set it with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder because that's what's in front of me right now. Now I'm going to take my... E48 brush from Morphe and I'm going to take my translucent powder from Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier. For my eye look today I'm going to be staying in one palette and I'm using this pure palette that you guys can get from Ulta and I'm taking this color right here and blending this into my crease. I'm gonna start in the middle of my eye and then blend it out because I've been liking the way my eye looks are looking when I start right here instead of out here. Now I'm taking this brown color to deepen up my crease a little bit right in the center and blend it out a little bit. So I'm taking my NYX Mixing Medium and I put some on the back of my hand and now I'm going to apply this to my eyelids because this makes my eyeshadow transfer resistant and I'm using my Sigma E55 eyeshadow brush. Now I'm taking another Sigma brush, which is the E55 eyeshadow brush, but it's bigger. And I'm taking this color right here and applying this to my eyelid. Now I'm taking the Makeup Forever Ink Liner to line my eyelids and I'm going to be smoking this out. I'm not doing a wing. Now I'm taking my Morphe M156 brush and I'm using this side of the brush first. I'm taking the black in this palette which is 3AM and I'm going to smoke out my lash line. Now I'm taking this side of the brush to blend the eyeliner into the rest of the eye look. Wow. <laughs> Taking some mascara, coating my lashes real quick because I'm putting on 
falsies, of course. For my lashes, I'm using the Salon Perfect Lashes in 614. Yeah, 614. That's what's on the thing. And I'm going to stack my Eyelore lashes on top. So these right here. I don't know the name of them. I just know they're by Eyelore. So let me stack these real quick. And I'm going to have to curl these because the Eyelore lashes are like super straight. I feel like stacking lashes would be so much easier if I didn't have nails. For lash adhesive, I'm using Duo Glue and the Clear Toned. Okay, so while that's getting tacky, I'm going to be priming my face with the LA Girl Pro Prep High Definition Smoothing Face Primer. Taking my Mario Badescu spray. I'm using my MAC applicators to put my lashes on. Okay, moving on to the face makeup. So this foundation retails for $11.99 on Ulta's website so this foundation is supposed to be oil free doesn't clog your pores dermatologist tested it's supposed to be a full coverage foundation with a seamless finish even out camouflage and enhance it's supposed to minimize the appearance of flaws and imperfections apply to the face and blend with fingertips we're not doing that sponge or blender it says 24 hour in the foundation title it comes with one fluid ounce so i'm going to be mixing this with my covergirl healthy elixir foundation in the color 775 because i've already tried this foundation y'all and it looked good when i was trying to film it but when i stopped filming and looked at myself in the mirror like real life it just didn't match me it looked like i had a mask on my face and that's what we're not going to do so <laughs> i'm going to be mixing it with my covergirl healthy elixir foundation in the color 775 this one right here like i thought i was doing something i thought this foundation was about to be the foundation that i need oh I squirted the foundation on the butt of the Beauty Blender and that's how I'm applying the foundation. What I do agree with is, is a long wearing foundation. This foundation stayed on and it didn't really change throughout the day at all. And this foundation is a pretty full coverage foundation. This is literally like the perfect blend. I'm about to start using the Healthy Elixir foundation as a mixing medium for all my foundations. I look a little red on camera, but I promise you guys that it matches me pretty good. And plus I like my face makeup to be a little bit darker anyway, so I'm not even tripping. I kind of feel like my face is burning, y'all. What? Maybe it feels that way because I mix both of the foundations together, but I am getting like a tingly feeling right up in here. So my battery went dead right in the middle of me saying that the foundation was giving me a tingling feeling right here, like a burning sensation, but it kind of went away. And this part of my face is the most sensitive, so that's probably why. But it's not burning anymore, so I think we're good. <laughs> Now I'm going in with the Avery Wine Concealer in Hazelnut. I don't know how I feel about the sponge. That's so different. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it's a little orange. I might have to put another concealer on top of it so it won't be so orange. I really feel like tan would have been the perfect color on me. So I'm just taking my, what is this, the Infallible Pro Glow Concealer on top of it. And this is the color Coco. And I like that it has like a yellow undertone. So we're just going to put this on top. It is on the matte side because it's not really moving. Okay, I definitely feel like you can't leave this concealer sitting because then it will be stuck 
And then I don't want to blend it out too much because then I don't want to move around my foundation that's under it. I don't know what's going on right here. Mm, like I feel like it's intensifying the line right here. Okay, let me just let me let me let me let me let me just go ahead and set this. <laughs> so I'm using my Laura Mercy A translucent to set my I just used too much. I'm probably gonna have to work with this product a little. Huh. Hold on. Hold on. I think the powder helped it out a little bit. I like how it's looking now. I take it back. <laughs> No, I don't take it back. I feel like without the powder, it was definitely intensifying the lines that are going on under my eyes, especially like the little dip in my eye. But now that the powder is on, I'm not mad at it. So hopefully when I go back to return caramel, they'll have tan in stock so I can try that one out because mixing this concealer with the infallible one, the Pro Glow one, I think that's what made it act funny so i'm definitely going to give the concealer another try because i probably shouldn't have mixed them but yeah i did i had to all right you guys so it's about six hours later i finished my makeup around six something i think it was close to seven o'clock but i had to be at the movie theater around 7 15 i don't remember what time i got there but it was around seven something 7 15 7 30 and now it's around 1 15 i can't really show you guys what time it is because i'm on the phone so I can't really show y'all what time it is. So like I said, I'm on the phone, but at the top it says 1.18. So that's like six hours of wear, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm doing my math right. But yeah, that's how my foundation is looking. So my thoughts on this foundation is definitely matte. And I like the way it looks once my oils start mixing in with it. And it's definitely full coverage. Um, I told you guys earlier that it was burning in this area right here. Once the foundation dried down into place, it stopped um, the little tingling burning feeling but I feel like it did that because I mixed two different products together because that shade does not match me at all like I look like I didn't have life in my face when I had the foundation on by itself so that's why I had to mix it and I got pretty close is it going to last 24 hours I'm not sure I feel like I'm seeing some oils coming right here but I like when my oils start to mix in with the foundation because it looks more skin like especially with a matte foundation because I'm not a huge fan of matte foundations I like my foundations to be more of a velvet matte so I personally like when my face starts to get a little oily because it looks more skin like to me as far as the concealer hasn't creased or moved at all since I set it um, we got off to a rocky start but I really like how it looks. It didn't flash back. The foundation didn't flash back and the concealer didn't flash back at all. So that's good. I also think the concealer is more of a matte finish. Um, so that can be a good and bad thing depending on your skin type. All in all, I really like how this is looking. So you guys might just want to go pick up these products because I think Maybelline did something. So yeah, this color was a little too orange so I am going to go back and get tan hopefully that works out for me because I don't want to have to mix any products because as you guys already saw that didn't work out too good for me one thing I don't know how many shades they have in this foundation I'm not sure let's go to Ulta because the shade that I got um truffle was the darkest shade in store but you know, sometimes they have all the shades online, which I don't really like, but yeah. Okay, so there is one, two, three, four, five. They have 16 shades online. The darkest color might be mocha. I don't know. So yeah, I do have truffle on. I do feel like there could be some more in-between shades and darker shades because truffle was too light for me if you are a matte girl and a full coverage girl i really feel like this is going to be your best friend so yeah that is it for this video i really hope you guys liked it if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up comment down below and then also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video